Hello everyone and welcome back to Force of Nature, where off camera I have done a little bit of gathering. I gathered quite a lot of logs and palm leaves by chopping down trees and chopping down palm bushes respectively. And as you can see, I've gone through a couple of cups of coffee. My goodness, coffee is probably the most useful thing that I have discovered in this game so far. I made the, those entire trips on, by consuming like five cups of coffee and I didn't really even need to consume the last one I would say. But uh, compared to my normal uh, trips, and we'll probably do a, a bit of uh, speed, uh, sorry, time-lapsed gathering in this episode just to illustrate the point. But compared to my normal trips, that was just... It, it, it was move, it was night and day, basically. The, the difference between night and day in terms of how much work I got done without having to come back. Now, I have gathered enough materials, as you can see, for us to go ahead and build a dugout. Though I do need... A, wow, I need quite a lot of clay, actually. You know what? How about we don't do that and instead be sensible about this and use... Uh, do I have enough... Oh, I do not. Let me grab some coal as well. We're going to use our copper and we're going to make ourselves a bunch of copper from uh, coins. So we'll go ahead and we'll make two whole ingots from that. Wow, we only need two. What does it need? Oh, glowing embers are, are what I lack now. Fair enough. I have actually got, quite, as you can see, quite a lot of glowing embers on the way as well. well I'll pick those up and I'll... Uh, probably get another copper or two at some point but we're not gonna make a push for it at the moment i've got a lot of rope besides i had over a hundred palm leaves in the end we actually managed to get quite a lot together now how are all my seeds going over here i was very tempted to get another well but i think i would prefer to build the dugout a little bit sooner rather than later as i was mentioning i did a fair bit of work off camera we are starting to get to the point now in fact i mean 60 planks as well that uh, it has taken us a very long time to gather materials. It is definitely more of a time limit rather than a material limit at this point. Uh, it's generally fairly easy for me to find the materials I need. There we go. Now, hopefully this shovel allows us to dig quite a lot of stuff. Let's see. Okay. That's actually reasonably good. Yeah, okay, we're, we're digging this a little bit faster, but I need 50 of them. And this is the problem. It's like, we're getting to really high numbers. And okay, the tool is, to be fair, significantly better than the last one, but it's still going to take me a little while to gather this. And this is the point where I'm starting to feel like, well, this, we don't need these time, um, these time limits. We, I don't need an object to take a minute to craft. That makes a little bit more sense if there's lots of other things that you can do, but I am actually just finding myself now waiting around for something to finish automatically making. And that never feels like a good place for a game to be. It makes sense in an MMO, as I've mentioned before, for, for a number of reasons and, and partially for the business model, especially if it's a, an MMO that you're paying to play. I mean, from the business side of things, yeah, you kind of want people to be hanging around. Let's uh, gobble down some of our coffee and see how much we've got. There we are. We've already got our 50 clay. How marvellous. I didn't need to gobble down my coffee. Damn it all. I've wasted coffee. But it is now high time for us to build our new construction. So, the dugout. How big is the dugout? It's actually quite an upgrade. Wow, okay. I'm liking that. Uh, we could put it over there, or we could have it over on this side instead. And there's... Yeah, there's probably a little bit of me that's, that's okay with that. I'm thinking that might be nice, just to have the uh, dugout on this side. I might even move the bonfires at that point. Maybe have them either side of the dugout. Um... That could work, in fact. That that definitely could be a thing that we do. Alternatively, having it over here does kind... I kind of like it. Uh, we may end up with two of them. But I'm going to put this here because I don't think we're going to get a second blast furnace. Whereas I think there is an outside chance that I will be building a second cook stove. I don't need a second blast furnace. I really have the ore to use the second blast furnace. So that would just seem silly to me. On the topic of the blast furnace, though, we are going to need quite a lot more coal. What we lack are the glowing embers, so let's go ahead and take a bunch of those. I should really have spread out the work between the two, but I was a bit, a bit of a derp there by not doing that. Let's go ahead and spread these out here, though. 
There we go. So we'll have coal on there as well. And take that all the way up. There we are. That's perfect. That should give us a reasonable amount. I'm liking that we are now getting to, like, proper tool-looking tools. I know, that sounds silly. It, it does. I, I understand. But, it's still, it, it is starting to, to be quite nice. We've still got a copper ingot on us as well. Hmm. What could we build with all of this, I wonder? Straw bed? Straw bed. Yeah, I think so. We need, wow, we need more palm leaves? We get. I wasn't expecting that so soon. But then again, I did make 30... Uh, 30 rope, so I suppose I suppose I only have myself to blame. But we should be able to gather that remarkably quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and gather some palm leaves and wait for the building the dugout to be finished. And when you come back, we should be ready to build ourselves a bed. Oh, we're going up in the world. And welcome back. I'm just replanting some coffee. Though at this point, actually, I'm going to start planting some more wheat as well. So we want both wheat and coffee on us at this point. Um, so simply because I've allowed our wheat supplies to go down quite rapidly. So we'll want two coffee, two wheat. There we go. That should be fine. Is it in water? Near? Yes, there is. And there's the second. Now then, we have our dugout. Oh, I'm starting to feel very accomplished at this point. I don't mind admitting that I'm feeling very, very proud of myself for this little place that we've got here. Uh, you know what, though? I think this area needs a light. So let's go ahead and build ourselves. What? I can make a, a palisade? <gasps> really? Oh, that's remarkably cool. Uh, we're not going to build one right now, but also uh, that, that also kind of implies that we're going to need one soon. Hmm, not so sure I'm liking that, I will confess. Still, I am fairly happy with the ability to make it. Oh, my lord, I've got a door. <gasps> I've got a flagstone floor as well. Oh, we are really going up in the world. We've got a door on the front of our house. That's how you know when you've made it, ladies and gentlemen. When you've got a door. Right. Uh, I would definitely like to have uh, torches outside my house. You know, so that uh, everyone knows this is my house. I, I even like the torches over here by, <laughs> by my... Oh, well, they're both straw room structures, I guess. So, uh, really, one is not better than the other. But there we are. We've got a proper little, little house in here. Now, what we need is a bed. And the bed oh, is actually... A frustratingly large structure, I'll confess. Um, however, if we place it there, we could also have a chest right there. In fact, we could have two chests if we absolutely needed to. Ooh, this may be a better idea. Yes, there's enough for two chests on that side and having a bed there, but then would I be able to squeeze through? Mm, I'm not sure that I would. Let me go and have a quick look. I feel that I kind of take up two... Yeah, I take up two spaces. I suppose that I could make another one at some point purely for storage. That is an option. Then I could move the existing um, structures in there. But for now, I guess we'll go ahead. We'll pop this here. Right about there. And it'll look around and we'll have a little chest right there. Ah, oh, this is going to be wonderful. I am very, very pleased very pleased indeed. Let's take all of this water. I really love the auto harvest button. That is so useful. Uh, I have no idea how I would be able to, to cope if I had to just keep doing this manually because it does get incredibly tiring after a while. Well, not so much tiring. It's more tiring in the frustration sense than the physical sense. Uh, though, that being said, if I... If we didn't have an auto-gather um, not harvest, but just picking things up at the floor. I'm, I'm fairly certain I've gone mad. Much less be tired. Right, there we are. We've got loads of coffee now. Loads of health. We are doing rather well for ourselves, I must say. Now, the straw bed should... Well, as soon as that is finished and our quest is done, and it is practically done. Fantastic. Now, the bed will allow us to just sleep when we want, so we could just come home and tuck it down for a bit. For a bit. Okay, so creating a portal is the next thing. Wow, really? That feels like it kind of came out of nowhere, really. Uh, we need five ash, a lot of clay, a lot. Well, I suppose that isn't actually too bad. Maybe instead, though, we should focus on getting the compass because I'm feeling that having 
a portal that we can place down would be more use if we had somewhere that we needed to go across a large distance. That's that's where I'm coming from with that. I, th I think that would be spe especially useful to us. The compass is going to need a screwdriver, though, and the screwdriver is going to... Yeah, well, we can already make a screwdriver. It's only going to take one minute. Sure, okay, well, that's the first step, if nothing else. After that, though, we need... Ah, that's that's nice. I was a little bit worried about the iron, because I've gone through all of the iron rocks nearby, and I'm going to have to hunt for more. But it's tin, copper, or gold. I mean, we'd still run out of tin eventually, but copper is more or less an infinite supply, because we can just murder goblins until we've got enough copper. Gold, likewise. Glass, made of sand. Not going to be something that we're going to run out of anytime soon. But the tin... The tin, I guess, you will still run out of it eventually. So it is something that we need to be aware of. Right, there we go. Wonderful. Right, I'm going to... You know what I think? We need to go out on another goblin raid. I'm feeling that that would be especially useful for us right now. And I need to plant some wheat over here. There we go. And some there as well. Now, I've got a couple of wheat seeds, so I'm going to go and give our chickens something to eat. The next building I would like to make over here is definitely going to be the well, because we are going through water really quite quickly. Much faster than I would like. Hello. My chickens get fed first. There we go. You as well. And you. And I'm afraid, Rooster, we do not have enough wheat seeds for you. I know, I know. It sucks. It's unfair, and I agree. However, uh, let's. since we're going to be going out, sure. Make all of that into flour. It's going to take 15 minutes. It's, it's, uh, well, it's about a quarter of the time that I spent recording an episode, but it's about half of an episode just making that. The other things I would like to stow... Uh, you know what? Let's drop off the coffee beans. We don't want to take these with us. Anything that will will get potentially lost if we died should really just be stowed. I don't really mind losing the water because I can easily get it back, ultimately. Uh, we've got plenty of coal being set up. That's wonderful. Let's grab all of these. Let's grab this as well. I do want a, uh, a barrel around here eventually. I kind of want to move the the uh, charcoal kilns or the coal burners, whatever they're called here. Uh, we'll drop up the nails as well. They're kind of precious to me. Everything else is something that I can easily get elsewhere. The sunflower seeds are kind of useful, but not when we've got coffee, really. Okay, so with that, I think it is high time for us... Oh, we've got the screwdriver. That's rather cool. Okay, we'll pop that up there then. Uh, can I make more arrows? No, I don't have any more feathers. That's a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Uh, okay, well, before we head off, we'll just quickly get all of this going. So, harvest it all, gather it all, and then we plant. And then I can actually get our rooster producing us some more feathers, which would be rather useful, I feel. I uh, did put all of the extra wheat seeds down here, though. Let me grab those. There we go. And then we're going to go out hunting goblins, possibly looking for more iron. If we can find it, it would be good to have. Uh, sure, I'll grab the eggs as well since I'm here. There we go. And we'll store these back over here, where I will eventually use them to make bread. Because I don't seem to be hurting for the items at the moment. I don't seem to be hurting uh, for the higher tier item, so I'd rather make those if I can. Now, as I come across things, I am going to be using the bow, so we're not going to be time-lapsing this straight away. We're going to be going out on a bit of a hunt, and maybe we can find some scallywags to slay. Now, I will walk with the map open. I wonder if I can make the map. I can't move it. That's a bit of a shame, but there's tin there. We're going to need that. Absolutely going to need that, so I might gather some shortly, but uh, that'll be something I'll do on the way back. It looks like there was an enemy over there, perhaps? Yes, they kind of drift off the map. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Right, well, what are we going to find, then? Where are the enemies? I wish to slay them. Now, there's regular stone, so it's not really something for us. Uh, well, I guess maybe eventually it's going to be like, oh, yeah, you need, like, 40 stone for something. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to be here for a while, then, aren't I? Right, okay. Let's see what I can do with this goblin. Right about there. There we go, and again. Oh, that is so useful. Don't need to do that, though. It's a bit silly, in fact. Because ultimately, I can easily kill those goblins by myself. I wonder what I could get... Uh, I don't want to kill the chicken right now. 
That's fine, chicken. You can you can make a run for it. I could draw, I knock an arrow and draw it back fully and then snipe you from afar, but I don't think that's necessary. I will follow you, though, and if you leave me uh, some goblins, that'll be kind of fun. Something that I can slay. Hello over here. Many goblins. Okay, we've got two coming at me at once. That's fine. I can easily kill them, and I've got enough strawberries to last me several lifetimes worth of healing, so it's not an issue for me right now. Bit of a shame that it's getting dark. I'm not a gigantic fan of that one. Oh, a boar. Now, I will be using my bow here to try and take you out from afar, or at least stack up some decent damage. And then way into you after you're down here. Come on. Oh, that was useful. That was very useful. The problem I had with the ball previously is that just hitting it with the cudgel didn't kill it from the amount... Uh, eventually, the last hit dropped it below some sort of um, flea threshold, and it skedaddled. But because I damaged it with the bows, uh, those two arrows, sorry, the arrows, it wasn't the bow that damaged it, or at least it shouldn't have been, uh, it caused it to be still just slightly above the flea threshold, I think. Let's go ahead and harvest all of these in something. And as a result, I could just uh, swing my cudgel at it until it died. That was quite useful. Now, I can't quite tell. Ah, these are regular rocks. That is a bit of a shame. Anything back here? Oh, my lord. I am being attacked by a bull. In the darkness. How wretched. No, come on. There we go. We got meat that time. How much meat did we get? Only one. Really? Only one for slaying a boar? Scoundrels. I demand more recognition for the hard work that is involved in killing a boar and not dying to it first. There's another boar over there. Is this? Ooh, yes it is. It is iron. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we're finding plenty to do around here. I'll grab your coins. Now then. Oh dear. Oh dear. Who's attacking me? Is it just you? That's fine. I don't mind just attacking you. A little bit concerned about the darkness, I will be honest. There's a fox over there that could be a bit of a problem. I swing past, see... Ooh! Hello! What are you? Goat? Can I tame a goat? Hmm. Hmm. I need to check the encyclopedia. I think we unlocked traps at level 4. Ah, it isn't telling me. Drat. Really want this goat. Let's see if this will work. Let's give it a, a try. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. So, trap, fire, trap two, fire. No, okay, fine, fine, fine. Oh, it's running. No. Damn you. Trixy goat. I knew what I was up to. Decided to seek refuge with the goblins. Fine. Okay, that, that went off into the ether. Okay, that's bad. Okay, I'm going to have some of my bread straight away. Because that little fox is annoying. Nope. Come on. And no, you're not getting away, fox. And ciao. Am I going to hit it? No. No, I fail. Oh, really? Really? Okay. Well, I'm not too worried about my health at this point, actually. I seem to be able to manage it. Still... A little bit frustrated with that fox, by the way. Come back here, you. Where are you? Where is the fox? There we go. There we go. And. And again. No, that is not the right. Ah, oh, damn it. No, oh, come back. Ah, oh, why, are you, why are you making whimpering sounds? That makes me feel horribly guilty. No, you attack me, remember? No. Can I get back to you? Don't make me have to waste an arrow like this. Damn it. You are being very troublesome. Right, I'm never going to catch that fox. How frustrating. Okay, well, let's not waste my arrows anymore. Let's instead try to catch a goat. Nope. Goat is being tricksy. Aha! I've got a goat. This is fantastic. Follow me, goat. This is almost as good as a cat. Facts probably bad. Goats are amazing. Goats. Frankly, I think I should be able to tame this goat and bring it around with me with like an ally and it can attack things for me because you never want to be on the bad side of a grumpy goat. 
I know this from experience. Billy goats hurt. They are always in a bad mood. Almost always. Every now and then they're not. And it's kind of kind of sweet when they're not, because they're actually quite quite cuddly. But when they are in a bad mood, which is almost always, it is very bad times. Uh well okay. It looks like that 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 fox is has completely bugged out. Did not want any of it. Fine. I guess. I ended up with a goat instead. This is a reasonable Aha! No, come back! I have chased you down! Goat! Goat, why aren't you chasing? Uh, goat, you're, you're being useless. I was praising you and everything. Uh, where, where am I? I feel that I have wandered a little bit too far. Yes, I have. Okay. Well, we're kind of in the right place now, goat. So, I am going to take the goat back to base. Then I'm going to come back out and I'm going to gather up some of this tin. And then we will return to probably me having to build a new pen. A much bigger pen for goats. Goat pen. Ah, oh, it's gonna be grand. And now we are heading home after nine cups of coffee. I can only assume that my character is currently wired in a way that is frankly entirely unhealthy for him. But we have managed to get quite a lot of work done out and about. We've completely demolished the tin uh, node that we discovered. And have even gone off and gathered a fair old bit of iron as well. Did go through almost all of my coffee supply though, which, you know, isn't great. Certainly isn't good. But we do now have enough to do quite a lot of work around the camp. Let's uh, go ahead and move everything over into there. How many pelts have we got? We've got four pelts. Six fangs. Okay, we may actually be nearly at the point where we can start looking into building um, the, uh, sorry, making all the ash that we require. But what we're going to want is a fairly large pen, I'm going to say, for, for large animals like uh, a goat. Now, we've, we're not going to worry about the tin right now. We've got a lot of tin ore. We've got a reasonable amount of iron ore, though, and that is great. Uh, oh, we do not have the glowing embers necessary. But because it took us so long to get everything done, genuinely, it, it was probably about close to 15 minutes worth of gathering to gather all of that. Uh, we are going to be able to go ahead and get a full five iron ingots. We will then be able to make um, some tin once that is done. In fact, let's go over here and grab all of the flour. There we go. Now, the big problem with what we were doing is while we were out, nothing was going on in here. So the uh, water was just basically wasted. It wasn't, uh, the well wasn't getting drained. And so it was just four water sat there. And that, that is a bit of a frustration, honestly. But at least it does gather some water by itself at all, because it could not. Uh, let's see. We have got 12. That brings us up to 33. We're going to need to uh, replenish our coffee supply. Also, we probably want to go ahead and make some meat. Oh, we do not have enough water by the looks of it. That is a bit of a shame. Okay, well, uh, let's grab a little bit more water. I guess we'll cook the meat first, then. Let's go ahead and... Uh, well, you know what? No. Because the cooked meat... Let's have a quick look. What does fried meat give us? Only plus 25 health in 25 seconds. So that's one health a second. No, I think we're okay. For the time being, I think we're all right with that. I would rather focus on getting the coffee. And you never know. Maybe at some point, 
we will instead have the ability to uh, make some sort of like uh, meat pie or something along those lines, which would be much, much better for us. So I'm just going to focus on replenishing our coffee supplies, because we did, as I mentioned, go through quite a lot of those. Uh, we have got one ingot and another on the way. We'll use that to make a couple more nails, and then we'll lay down the area for our goat's pen. So we're going to want a good 20 nails there. Now then, let's have a quick and uh, It's going to take two nails to make this. And you know what? Sure, we'll we'll make a, a fair-sized pen here. So we'll pop one there, one all the way down there. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's fine. And we'll do much the same. So three... Right about there. Now, I'm not going to have enough nails to finish that last one, unfortunately, but we should be able to gather some more. There we go. Fantastic. So we'll be able to get a nice, large pen for our goats, and that makes me happy. Uh, we will need some fencing at this point. We want a nice big 4 by one fence, and we'll place that for there. It's basically, a, sorry, not a fence, a, a double gate, rather. And then we'll have a 3 by one gate there. We're going to need some more nails for that, though, so let's grab those while we can. Also, pick up the iron ingot, get some more nails on the go. There we are. Now, eventually, I'm obviously going to want to invest some of the uh, ores that I've got in making plenty of storage. But for now, I, I think actually getting a proper pen for our goat is a much higher priority, or at least it is for me. I'm not going to have our goat wandering around without a proper home, yeah? Alright, so there we go. So that's the beginnings of this larger pen here. Uh, how many more ingots we got? There we are. And it's going to take us a while. It, it isn't going to be a fast thing, to be certain, but... Uh, oh, that actually looks quite nice. I, I'm really, really getting getting quite happy with the, the way our base looks at the moment. Now, whilst we're waiting on that, you know what we could also do? We could. Uh, we don't need to go back to constructions. I think I've got enough planks. Right, we need a lot of soil. Okay, so we can build another four. I think we can build. Yes, we can. Yeah, we can build another four. Okay, so we're limited to only four uh, more of this level, but uh, perhaps in the future we'll be able to make a couple more. And that ingot is going to be ready shortly. Let's go ahead and see if we can't build out this back area first. So one three by three there there and you know what let's go ahead and build the four sorry three by three i meant uh three by one the four by one right there as well there we go and we'll go and move over some one of the ingots into the anvil uh we, we might we might struggle a little bit for the amount of nails that we need let's go ahead and make two of those there we go Right, time for us to go and see about gathering some soil. So, from here, we can... Where is my shovel? I put it in the chest to protect it, just in case. We don't use it very often, so there's not really much reason not to. And I'm just going to go ahead and gather some soil, and then we will build four more uh, seed planters. So, I'm going to cut this out, and I will bring you back when we're ready to finish off the goat's pen and build the seed planters. Okay... Now, I believe I've got enough of everything. Uh, it is unfortunate that I'm building this on a bit of a clay deposit. I should have really thought of that. But it isn't so much for our animals to graze. It's more to, to keep them safe. So I don't actually think they graze since I have to feed them manually anyway. Right, so what we want here is one there and there. We will build out just this side first and then see if we've got enough materials to build the other side. Since once we've built all that side out completely, I think at that point... Uh, oh, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I should have paid attention to that. Let me see if I can move those. Otherwise, I'm going to slowly go mad. Uh, this will come down here and pop that one there, and this one can move up and go there. Okay, there we go. Crisis averted. That was almost terrible. I was about to just demolish them and accept the loss, because it matters to me that these are symmetrical, damn it. There we go. 
Now, unfortunately, we did not have enough nails to finish it all, by the looks of it. No, we don't. But this, uh, I imagine our will still be able to get up. But hopefully this will be good enough. And I'll have to make that a super high priority. Right, follow me. Let us get you into your little pen. We'll finish it off soon. Do not worry. There we go. And you can just hang out here. I need to get you some wheat so that you can have some good norms and some water, of course. But before that, we need to check on some planks. We've got a couple there. We've got 19 in total. Okay, well, we're still building quite a few. If we head over here to the seabeds, we're only going to build one. That is actually quite unfortunate. But, oh, well. Uh, sure, we'll pop that one there, then. Now... I would like to get some more water, thank you, and then we'll, we, we will uh, go ahead and feed our goat and see what we get back from that. I imagine it's going to be milk. You know that, though, you know, some goats, it doesn't look like uh, like an Angora goat, so I'm not, I, I don't think it's going to be a case of we're going to get wool from it, but you never know, because some goats do. Some goats can be uh, shorn for their wool. In fact, some goats have particularly good properties uh, from their wool. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead. Um, new. I would like actually more wheat there, so let's get that on the go. There we are, now I need a little bit more water so I can go feed my goat. We've got 16 wheat on us, so that should be more than enough. And we may even end up with enough planks to start building some more seed beds. I really do feel that at this point, our camp is starting to really come together. We'll build another dugout across the way, I think, if we need a little bit more. There we go, milk. If we need a little bit more storage room, and I, I'm thinking we probably will want another a dugout just, just for storage. We'll build a second barrel here, I'm thinking, for the cooking supplies. As for this, I'm thinking... Honestly, I'm thinking that we should probably move the um, coal burners and the bonfires. I'm not sure where to, though. But having them there, uh, I mean, I guess it isn't uh, super bad right now, but it, it still doesn't feel quite right. But on the whole, I'm fairly happy with where our camp is right now. We're, we're making some reasonable progress through the levels, though uh, we haven't made a great deal of progress towards making the portals yet. We could probably make a portal fairly quickly, but I would really, really quite like to get us a compass before we do that, so that I'm putting down the portals in a reasonable location where we're actually going to uh, be able to use them properly. Uh, let's go ahead. We want two of these, one there and one there, and then we need to wait on just a few more planks to be ready. In fact, there we go. That is enough. Let's go and place our last seed bed. And with that, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. But that is going to be it from me. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. As always, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.